The Silverstone Ice Gem 240P is one of the latest liquid CPU coolers from Silverstone, and the thing you'll notice immediately is the way this cooler looks. It is the definition of the 1980s called the Wonder Blink Back. Still, the Ice Gem design is a thing that you either like it or you don't. The Ice Gem 240P is available for around 140 US dollars or euros at the time of this review. The price may vary based on your location, but you now have a good idea of what to expect price-wise for this cooler. As I've said before, the design of this cooler is certainly unique in the market of all-in-one liquid CPU coolers. The CPU block and pump assembly used on the cooler has an interesting diamond design placed on the top and around the Silverstone logo. This area of course is not only transparent to mimic the look of diamonds, but also it is fully RGB illuminated from behind which can be overkill for some people. Another feature of this cooler is the sheer size of the base plate. The copper made base plate has a width of around 71mm, which is massive in the grand scheme of things. In fact, this base plate looks to be made for the Intel X299 socket, which has bigger CPUs than the regular sockets such as the 1150 or the 1151 or AM4. Silverstone themselves advertise this CPU cooler as ideal for the AMD Threadripper platform, just because it has this massive base plate, which is great, especially since there aren't that many CPU coolers that offers full coverage of the Threadripper CPUs. Still speaking of the size of the CPU block, well, if the base plate dimensions were impressive, then the CPU block itself is on the same level, as the CPU block has a total height of around 66mm, which is bigger than pretty much most CPU water blocks on the market, apart from a few exceptions. This is thanks to the pump which has a 3-phase 6-pole design for increased reliability and performance. Anyway, we've talked enough about the CPU block, next up there are the two tubes, which are covered by a high-quality nylon sleeving across their entire length. The tubes have a total length of 400mm and connect to the CPU block via plastic made angled fittings which can fortunately swivel. The fittings on the radiator side are made from the same plastic but do not swivel, which would have been the first. The radiator used on the Ice Gen 240P can accommodate up to two 120mm fans on each side, however the thickness of this radiator measures at around 38mm, which is bigger than the average size of radiators used on these CPU coolers. The fins of the radiator are made most likely out of aluminium and the radiator has a fin per inch density of 20. One good feature to see on this radiator is a fill and air bleed port located on the fitting side of the radiator. This will be of great help if you want to get rid of trapped air inside the system, however it is not recommended to use this port unless you know what you're doing. Also, the warranty status of this cooler can be affected by the usage of this port because, well, some people don't know what they do and leaks start to appear. The Ice Gem 240P uses two 120mm fans which are part of the Air Blazer series of fans. These have a maximum rotational speed of 2200 rpm and a minimum speed of just 600 rpm. Fortunately, these fans can have their speed controlled through the software of your motherboard or a fan hub thanks to the usage of a PWM compatible 4-pin connector. Other features of these fans include rubber pads on both sides of each corner of the fan frame and plenty of RGB LEDs that will illuminate the impellers and hum assembly of the fan. Before we get into the testing segment of this review, we need to see what is delivered with this CPU cooler and we start with a user manual, a tube of thermal paste, a fan Y splitter, one addressable RGB controller, a 2-in-1 RGB cable, a RGB sync cable, a SATA power adapter and the components of the mounting system, which includes backplates for both Intel and AMD, plastic washers, backplate studs, plastic spacers, spring loaded nuts, fan screws, radiator screws and three metal made mounting plates for the CPU block, which have their own designation for each platforms. The installation of this CPU cooler is very simple thanks to a mounting system that has been used for years and also which has been improved. First of all, you take the correct backplate, which in my case is the Intel one, then you install the backplate studs into the correct spaces for your socket, then you secure the studs on the backplate with the help of these plastic washers. Afterwards, the backplate and the studs are installed on the back of the motherboard with the studs protruding at the front of the CPU socket. Here, the plastic spacers are installed over the studs and then after you apply the thermal compound on the CPU surface, you place the CPU block on the studs. Finally, you secure the CPU block 
with the spring loaded thumb screws and you are essentially done. You then have to install the radiator in your desired location and connect the fans and the CPU block and pump to the correct headers on your motherboard or fan hub if it supports that. And this is how the Silverstone Ice Gem 240P looks like installed in a regular system. Of course, my white case does help with the diffusion of the RGB color and light, but the point still stands. If Silverstone wanted to create a CPU cooler that will make you wonder what model this is, they certainly achieved that, as the RGB LEDs behind the diamond design do create a lovely light effect inside your system. Before we have the temperatures checked, we need to hear how loud this CPU cooler is, and we first start with the pump noise, which is recorded with the microphone at around 5cm away from the CPU block. In addition to the pump noise sample, you will get to hear how the fans of the cooler sound like, first starting at their minimum speed of 600 RPM and then accelerating to their maximum rated speed of 2200 RPM. I am doing this to show you the actual noise you can expect to hear from this cooler and included fans, as the decibel testing and measurement is useful but it does not take into account unwanted noises such as those generated by the fan bearings, vibrations and other things. With the included 120mm fans running at their maximum rated speed of 2200 RPM, the Ice Gem 240P reached a maximum noise output of 47 decibels, with the measuring device placed at a standard distance of 10 cm away from the system. This value is nothing surprising as we have two 120mm fans spinning at 2200 RPM and pushing the air through a radiator which has a fin per inch density of 20, thus there will be some noise. The thermal testing is done using two benchmarks. Also, unless otherwise stated, the used CPU in all CPU cooler reviews is the Intel i9-9900K running both at the factory settings and also overclocked manually to 5GHz on all cores. The first test uses the Intel Burntest V2 benchmark, which places a load on the CPU which is similar with the CPU load you can expect to encounter while playing a modern AAA video game. And in this test, the Ice Gem 240 reached a maximum temperature of 58 degrees Celsius, with the ambient temperature set at 26 degrees Celsius. This value places the Ice Gem 240P on the same level as the Noctua NHD15 or the Be Quiet Pure Loop 240. So, for this cooler, so far so good. However, the next test uses the FPU stability test found within the AIDA64 Extreme software. This benchmark places an unrealistically high load on the CPU, something which you will only encounter when or if you are doing heavy video rendering and processing using the CPU exclusively. Otherwise, these levels of CPU load will not be something common for you. Nevertheless, this test is useful in our reviews as it pushes the cooling limits of each CPU cooler tested. And in this test, the Ice Gem 240P reached a maximum temperature of 84 degrees Celsius with the same ambiental temperature of 26 degrees Celsius, a temperature which places the Ice Gem 240P next to coolers such as the Noctua NHD15, the Be Quiet Pure Loop 240 or the Silverstone Permafrost 240 quite good for the Ice Gem 240. The Silverstone Ice Gem 240P is a good CPU cooler that delivers on what it promises, a good cooling performance, albeit the noise is on the high side of the spectrum. In addition, the Ice Gem 240 is fully compatible with AMD's Threadripper platform thanks to its larger than average base plate and CPU block. However, there are some small things to mention. First of all, the design is not for everyone. Some will love it and some will hate it. And the pressing thing on this cooler, and others for that matter, is the sheer number of wires. You have two wires for each of the two fans and an extra two wires for the CPU block. Thus, in total, this CPU cooler has no less than six different wires and multiple connectors, which is unacceptable. I get that everyone wants to have RGB and all that, but this is just too much. Not only is it a hassle to work with, but you have to hide them somewhere. And if you do not have a bigger case, well, Good luck to you and may the RGB force be with you on this one because I am not. However, if you can live with those two things, then the Silverstone Ice Gem 240P is a great CPU cooler that 
offers a good performance and has a middle of the road price tag, although it could have been a bit lower. If you like this review, then you may consider subscribing for more and also if you want to support the channel in a direct way, then in the description below you can find both the links for the Patreon and the subscriber star pages of the channel.